Uh, it's on a scale of nine. Five would be considered ideal for a non-athletic dog. I would say four is, you know, four threes and fours are what you expect to see, you know. And three, I can feel ribs pretty easily and the top line pretty easily and hips, whereas a four would be a little more covering over the ribs. you got to take into account these guys are bigger. Yeah, if I found a five, that would actually almost be considered borderline obese for a racing dog. <laughs> so I've been in Alaska all winter and four of the dogs were five and they said that was their ideal. They yeah, it is the ideal. I agree with that. But you know, racing. Yeah, for racing, it, well, I guess it depends. You know, you want to have a little cushion there. You don't want them to go in too thin because then you worry about them losing condition throughout the race. Right. Well, you're nice and flexible. Look at that. Nice. Good. Good. No feet problems this year, you know. No. Oh, look at you. Wow. Nice. He had a bit of a shoulder injury on his last race, but it seems to. Okay. It seems to. Do you remember which side it was? Uh, it was on his left side. His left side? I think it was his left bicep, I think. Okay. Let me just kind of palpate that a little bit. I didn't really press on. I've been massaging it. I've checked it. You know, this was like three weeks ago. And he, the, one, the, the one dog who got an injury hasn't recovered, but he does seem okay. to have recovered okay. I would say there's a little tenderness here when you see when I press this. See how he flinches? Yeah. Right there a little bit? Yeah. So that's tricep muscle. Okay. It's not horrible, but you know, definitely keep an eye on yeah. that. I would say, let's see if we get the same on the other side or not. Yeah, see, the other side is not really doing it, and I'm pressing in the same place. Yeah. So he's still a little tender there. Yeah.